Watch as we eat our way through all of the TV. <laughs> Interesting, y'all. Interesting, y'all. How do I zoom in? Push the joystick. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm learning so much. I'm moving on the go, y'all. Because we are trying out, as you can see, a brand new way of recording the fit. Oh. It is time for my annual trip to go visit my dad in Baltimore, more accurately, the DMV area. So I'm getting ready to head to the airport, and this is the fit, giving very much like little boy energy, call it what you will, but I wanted to be cozy today. So I have this jacket, which I got from Vici Collection, just an easy bomber jacket because it's gonna be like 60-ish, I think, in Baltimore. Then the sweatsuit is from Forever 21 in this just like fun cream color, something easy to wear. I have just like a regular regular t-shirt layered underneath and some thicker socks also from Forever 21 and my Nikes, so something super casual and of course you can see my suitcase over there that is away brand i think that's just like my go-to everyday suitcase and my leopard print bag from h m so this is the fit about to drop anna off at her absolute favorite place she's going to spend time with my bestie mal who who literally spoils her so much more than i do so i know she is patiently waiting over there for us to go so about to get in the car and Get some gas, drop in off, head to the airport, and go to see my dad. Let's do it. Anna is a little upset because of course I had to stop for coffee and she doesn't get any or any food, but we are we are literally around the street from her favorite place, so going to drop her off and head to the airport. That's big. Anna, Anna's <laughs> jealous as hell, I'm talking about. She's like, I don't get to ride on a lap when I travel. What's going on? <laughs> Crap, like, um, first of all. Nice. You're live. Hi. Run in, get my training. Yeah. And then. See, and it so it worked out. You have more time to train. Uh, you know, it's always one of those things. That Friday morning, I am showered, I am dressed, I am rested. Usually on Friday, my dad is like terrible at taking off of work. I don't know if your parents are like anything like this. My dad is in the very fortunate position. He loves what he does. He's very, very passionate. He really like his mission. He feels like his purpose is to help everybody on his team earn $100,000 because he wants everyone to experience that lifestyle because he very much struggled financially for a long time, um, which I talked about in some other videos, but long story short, he was laid off from American Family Insurance, started his own business, which was literally DoorDash and all of that before DoorDash and all of that was as big as it was in our very small city. 
And then when he and my mom divorced, he moved out to the Baltimore area and, and got a job in sales and really didn't love it. It was just okay. I believe if I remember the story right, he ended up getting laid off from that job only to get hired into this job he has now the same exact day. And he has just loved it, literally gone from building that company to maybe like one million, two million to a five million dollar company in his short time there. So he just really loves what he does and him having that like business background has been so invaluable to me and so helpful. And so because he's just so passionate, like he's finally kind of just found like, this is my calling. Um, he does have a hard time. He does have a hard time stepping away from the job even when I come and visit, but he actually took the time off today. He's getting the tires fixed on the car. So that gave me time to, like I said, shower off and get dressed before we head over to Annapolis. If that changes, I'll make sure to rearrange and let you know where we actually end up because the other thing about visiting my dad that I love is it's basically free form, which makes it very hard to figure out what outfits to pack and what to wear because he very much is like, we'll just kind of figure out what I feel like doing and I really don't know what I'm gonna do until I arrive here. So getting into the outfit, so the earrings, my little huggies are from Kendra Scott. I have, of course, my signature ones from Forever 21. Again, one of my favorite places to find just like inexpensive jewelry. This is a very easy sweater. It is 45 degrees here. However, because we're gonna be walking, I want something that's gonna be warm, but that I'm not gonna get. And this outfit does not look like much now, but once you see it with the accessories, you'll see the vision. But this really lovely green sweater, it's just cozy, something easy is from and other stories. For the rings I have my go-to, the love ring is from, is from Vanessa Mooney. My rich, my rich bish ring is from a brand that is no longer open. Those are both from a boutique that was in Detroit that has shut their doors. Really sad day. Then the jeans, I'll make sure to give you a good full body video, but I just got these jeans from Amber Crombie and I am obsessed because of the puddle jeans look. Ooh, like that's definitely what we're going for. And finishing off the look, I have this amazing crop green jacket. Again, you see what I was going for? I wanted something edgy and something fun paired with the Nike Tech Harrah's. Having just like a cute little casual sneaker moment playing with the fun greens. I just felt like I wanted something colorful, but again, we're gonna be walking around a lot and walking around outside. So the other outfit I planned just didn't quite make sense. Because I'm still waiting on dad to come back, I'm gonna take the time to do a little bit of work, do a little bit of editing before we probably find a coffee shop because he knows I love me a good crafted latte and head into Annapolis. One of the best things about this area is the fact that you got the city real quick and literally within 45 minutes an hour. Yeah. It's straight West Virginia. Right, I'm here. Right. Look, Virginia because I feel like now. that's always my question too. I'm like, so I know I technically, but like you're just sitting here. Like, do you have a job? Do you, work? Do you have a job? You have to be offensive or anything, but right? Like, what is it that you do? Secret. Yeah. What is it you do that you're allowed to be at this coffee shop at like oh, 11 side. on a Tuesday? I don't know. Okay. I have faith in I, us. I have not been here at, or the set at all. I've never been over here. Oh my gosh, you know what? I think, so I think I've been to the Big Bean, but just not this location. Yeah. I think they have a second location somewhere that I've been to. Because my dad knows me so well. First coffee. 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 <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Crepes and coffee. Hey. Crepes and coffee. Crepes and coffee. Look at you. Isn't that funny? It's so old, but we can't take it down because I love it. I hope that works for me. Whatever that man has, we will have 20. <laughs> Today. So we have the walking crepe. <laughs> have we gotten to the apple part yet? The flavor is good. It's just, yeah, like from a, it's not as practical as you want it to be. You guys know my dad has a secret quest to try all the donuts. That's just one. All the donuts. In the world. Not even just in one little place. No. I do. So we're going to strawberry shortcake. I see a Dutch crumb. 
uh, chocolate honey dip. I know you have your version of like, okay, if they can make a good hamburger, is that your version for donut shops, if they make a good like vanilla? Yeah, that's a good baseline donut to test, okay, fair. You know what it's like? It's like pizza sauce, right? Yeah. Places have different pizza sauces. Yes. Sauce, right? Yeah. No, that's fair. Jeez. Go, DJ. You know, he had his moment. Trying to remember what I've seen and what's new since my my last perusing in the area. I had my learning experience with people, good girl, home, homegrown people in Maryland. <laughs> how, I don't, how, how bad it was at opening crap. That, that's what you about to do. Yeah. 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 So we had a cab fest. I was sitting there talking to a lot of agents that go to the other cases. Hang on, we guys. <laughs> Who does that, Dad? <laughs> we just learn as we go. Yeah. Like forces you to learn some of the stuff. You're like, oh, okay. I didn't know that. Wow. Well, of course, it's got to be crab soup. morning for the second year in a row I could not hang with my dad who got up at God knows what ungodly hour like 5 a.m. to work out like run lift bless his heart I don't have that in me right now also I feel like I'm on vacation so part of me likes to just be on vacation but I also feel like I should have got up to work out with my dad so I feel a little bad but your girl was tired Anyway, getting into the fit really quick, I have zero idea what we're going to do today. All I know is that my step-nephew, I'm really not even sure how to, you know, it's like, do I want to give you all the family tree? Like, my dad's remarried, she has a son, and then her son's son. Step-nephew, right? Like, I think, so he's going to come over today, which I'm pretty excited about, you know. Even though I don't want kids of my own, rich auntie is just flourishing right now. 
And then I know my uncle's coming into town and we may stay in and fire pit and eat, go out to eat somewhere. That literally, like I told y'all, it is like free from jazz coming to visit my dad, which keeps me on my toes. So for the fit, I just wanted something easy knowing that like I might be around a baby all day. So the hoops, we'll see if it's a good idea. I know he's not even two, so he might be at the age where it's like, ooh, shiny, let me take that out your ear. Hopefully not though, but same earrings. I have this sheer turtleneck that is from H&M. I really, really love. I wanted to get something light, easy. Then this zip up crop jacket for just like a little more athleisure look, which is from Urban Outfitters. I've had this for a couple of years. It's like my favorite go-to jacket. It's just easy to throw on, especially like after workout. Then we have the ASOS pants that you saw in my video on like how to recreate Pinterest outfits. They're just so easy to wear. They're basically just like chic sweatpants, right? So I really, again, wanted just something easy, something breezy. I have a couple of backup tops in case this is actually a little bit too much, but it's supposed to be cloudy and I think like 60. So yesterday's outfit, I didn't get like overly hot and sweaty. I think this will also work. And for the shoes, of course, like the white Nikes, I feel like the green tech hairs don't go. And then the other shoes I bought were workout shoes. I did plan to work out. Y'all, I did plan to work out. Every time I come here, I do plan to actually work out. I just... 5 a.m. is, I've told y'all before, I'm just not a 5 a.m. girly. Like, that's a different breed of animal. And I'm not sure that's ever gonna be me. So, I'm not sure where everybody is this morning. Let's go try and figure out who's who's where, what time of the plan is, get Jordan some coffee. Well, not coffee, y'all know I don't really like coffee. A latte, and get into the day. In the kitchen, not in the living room. The Amish market on Saturday morning. <laughs> it's gonna test you and whether or not you're a good person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna put you to the test and really let you know. Are you not if you're actually Amish? Are they nice people? But are they Canadian nice? Pickle person. I was, you know, I just accepted pickles into my life. Yes, but only on a only on a burger. No, but it's only on a burger though, not by themselves. Not by themselves now. Okay, baby steps. Oh, it's wild. <laughs> Everything but the house. Finders is actually cute. Like, yeah, you just, you Sunday. So Easter looks a little bit different, especially after COVID. Before COVID, my dad and I would go to his church and attend service. 
and then find a really fun place to grab brunch afterwards. But with COVID, a huge shift, of course, most places decided to kind of go to an online format. So we attended, so we attended service from home and we are in the midst of struggling if we're gonna be able to find a good latte because as expected, obviously it's Easter. So not a lot of places, rightfully so, are open today. Like the options are basically kind of Starbucks and Dunkin' and I'm really not a fan of either place's coffee at all. I really love finding places that just make their own syrups and really supporting more local businesses. So that on top of, I feel like the tradition of me going to coffee shops really started in college. Just that was a place you met up to study. I got to meet a lot of new people. And every time I went to a new city, that just was kind of what I did first was let me find a coffee shop. It gave me a lay of like the land. And of course I got to enjoy a latte. Usually I met some really cool person or whoever just ran like the place was really, really fun and open and gave a lot of recommendations. So for me, that's kind of how like the coffee shop thing started. And, and really it's just something that I love to do and be able to take you along with me because again, I just, I don't like coffee. I like a crafted latte. Like we gotta be very clear, it's a latte, not coffee. So aside from that, I believe that we are gonna go hang out with Tanya's family. That's my dad's wife in Delaware. And for privacy reasons, I know this is like a very touchy subject for a lot of people sharing kids, sharing family. That's one of the reasons I didn't show Mars's face at all because because that's not my kid, right? And the same with Tanya and her family. I really want to respect their family. So as much as I'd love to give you an even closer glance, just at the dynamic of some of those conversations out of respect and like privacy, I'm not going to take you along with me. That's just a hard line that I'm going to draw. I do not mind sharing my, my mom and my dad, my brother, my nephew on occasion over on the gram. But but as long as they're still kind of newer to me and as my pay and as as more of you join me, it's just a delicate balance, right? It's like, I want to respect everyone in their privacy and even with my own family, it's definitely very much like, if at any point you want me to stop recording, like I will stop recording. I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. And so that's so that's the other reason I have struggled to make vlogs in the past and really bring people with because it's like, I always wanna maintain the sense of, I don't mind being filmed, but I know that it's not for everybody, right? So I really appreciate you being cool and understanding that. Um, but I really love taking you along on these weekends. I love my weekends when I kind of when I come to visit my dad. It's kind of like eat, pray, love for me. As you can see, we definitely be eating good between his quest to try every donut in the world and my quest to try every crafted latte I could find. We're always gonna find good food, good vibes here in the DMV area. But then also with him being just so introspective, retrospective, and just a very reflective person overall, I love that he will always ask me tough questions and challenging questions. And so sometimes I'm not ready for those questions and I might like break down in tears and doubt myself and be like, oh dang, is this really, is this really what I should be doing or how I should be moving? I really love that he kind of brings that out of me. And so every time I just come here, as you've seen from some of our conversations, I just leave with a different perspective and feeling so refreshed and just kind of ready to get back to the grind and really put my head down and like, let's do it. I'm ready. I've been rested. I've been outside. So so I'm really glad that I get to bring you along with these journeys as well. And especially this time, I really tried to do my best to include a little bit more conversations and really give you that insight of just, again, I'm so fortunate. I love my dad. He's been through so many interesting experiences in his life. And then to really kind of be in the position where he is, especially with his work to help me as well. Like that's been, that's just been meant a lot. I mean, that I've just been so, so fortunate for. And I always, always am never blind to how, how fortunate and how blessed I am um, to just have been lucky, you know, because that's what it is when it comes to family. Like not everybody's cool with their family. And I'm so, so lucky um, for that reason that I just, I have had parents who really want to have a great relationship with me and work on that relationship and, uh, and recognize when they might've been imperfect. So if you enjoyed these adventures, getting to know me, vlogging, things like that, I actually have an entire playlist that you can check out, spend even more time with me, get to know me, get to know the family. I have other vlogs with my dad and vlogs with my mom as well. So go ahead and head over to that playlist. But before you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you over there. Thanks for watching.